this is a sketch of the waiting, and it started in the, in the, into the Great Wide Open. It's a open and art musical festival in uh, Finland, an island in the north of the Netherlands. And they invited me to do something in secret, a mystery, a, a kind of you have to find it on the island. And I was walking around and I, I saw this pound and I thought, well, that's, that's nice to make something and like this. And it's um, uh, 40 uh, LEDs just on the surface of the crown and they blinking and then short, long, short. And it's actually, it's something, it's, you're waiting for something, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> so it, the audience was, uh, they, they did, first they couldn't find it because they didn't know it, was, like, it didn't exist. And then they were there and then it's just, uh, yeah, but a lot of people just were sitting there because they were waiting for nothing to happen. <laughs> yeah, it's like waiting for Bodo. <laughs> Um, this is uh, in your hometown, uh, the Halo, and uh, this is also a sketch. It's in the in the Minimum Street, uh, not far from here, and uh, they invited me to do something uh, for the church it's here. And actually, if you see this picture, you see a lot of details, and uh, but you, actually you don't see a church. It's more a black hole, and. Um, so I came up with this halo. I said, well, I want to give some visibility to the church. I want to show it's, it's there. And a is not visible because of the, the politics at that time. And people were not allowed to show their religion. And um, so it's uh, just somebody on the other one. There's no sound, so this is just uh, about the making of the, of the halo. Uh, what, what's important if you make a work that it's not, and it has not the present, it can also be uh, uh, not present uh, uh, in public space. I think you know, it mustn't be too much in your face eh, because it's permanent. So you can also deny it. It's a circle of four meters. And it's from neon, and it is a, a, a yellow gold one, and a pure white outside. And what was interesting, uh, somebody just asked me, did, did, was there something, was there a problem? Of course, there are always problems. <laughs> uh, there were two, of course, uh, one with the Monumentum, uh, and the people from Monumentum, sort. And the other one uh, with the, uh, the people of the municipality, they wanted me to use LEDs. But you know, uh, neon is much brighter. It's, it, if you want really to make a simple light, the neon is the, is the material to work with. And um, nowadays, so this is six, seven years ago, uh, I really tried to make something with LEDs. So you have these points. Uh, it's all just all, uh, everywhere is Christmas light outside, and the, the LEDs are all these point dots, and I find this really ugly. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and I tried to make, do my best to make a line, but it was less and less light because then every time I thought, no, no, you still can see the dots, so you, and you cover it up, and at, at the end I had no light anymore. So I said to the commission, no, I want to have neon, and it was really, they were really upset. But actually, everybody thinks uh, LEDs are more uh, sustainable, but neon is as well. It's very, and uh, it's, it's, uh, it's the same cost and same, and that kind of things. But at the end, Utrecht has the neon. <laughs> and uh, I make a second, that is on the, on the, it's in the church, a second one, if something will happen with this, but nothing happened. So, but th that was the, the problem. So there's two more, but also nice is if you go in under this circle. Uh, yeah, well, you see this black hole. You know, you're adding a new layer to it, so it's, it's also uh, a, a silent moment in the, in the city, a private moment, maybe you can say. You see the church actually behind it. 
this is a flower from the universe. Mm -hmm. um, it's an interactive uh, light flower, and this is I built it uh, in the in the botanical garden in uh, Amsterdam. But it's uh, it's traveling around, so it was just uh, temporary. And uh, it's uh, they invited me, and I, I thought, well, what is the plan? The plan is is it's, uh, uh, needs the light. And needs the movement, the wind, because it can't move a plant. And also it needs a visitor, because uh, if you don't have a visitor, the plant can't survive, eh? so the flower. And so I wanted to make an interactive light flower, the visitor is, uh, are the people. So you can change your the color of the flower. And, uh, okay. 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 Uh, so this also. <coughs> Drawings uh, from the flower and uh, uh, also the light pattern uh, several were made. And here you see a group of kids making, working together, and making this this flower red. But actually, you can make any color. And the nice part is that uh, you come in there and then you look at this flower, and the flower gets your color. And uh, color is like um, looking at color; it's an emotion. Eh? It's also an emotion because you. Yeah, you're wearing something green today or red or whatever, and it, it has a choice in the morning. You're not really conscious about it, but you're using it, uh, and it's subconscious. And then you see, oh, it's in the flower. So you, you see uh, people, their emotion, in, they getting into the moment. But the next uh, thing what's happening is that it... Uh, Mix a combination with your neighbor, so it's it's going to mingle the red, and the green, and, but you can also work so with, like kids all together. <coughs> this picture I took from the tube in uh, for outside the tube from uh, Baker Street in London, and this is in Jerusalem, and here you see a lot of people all busy with the flower, and, and it's. Uh, so it's not only the, the flower part eh, and, the, and the, the life flowers give to us, but also eh, we give it back. This is also a, a meeting point, this, uh, eh, this work. Um, the Awakening of Mary, it's a different uh, one, this projection. Uh, working with projection is also um, Nice, because it's when it's out as your life. It's, it's just uh, this brief moment of uh, uh, it's, it will exist. And this is a uh, red light street in Amsterdam. And there was the, the chamber choir, uh, the Dutch chamber choir, they uh, invited me to do something in the church with the light. And actually, it's a beautiful church. It, uh, it's, uh, Finished, I think. And I said, Well, I want, I want to do something with the red light, and I want to do something with the church, and the, the whole combination. So um, they said, It's okay. So I made this uh, projection. Mm. I will show it to you just briefly now. Because it's, it's uh, a lot of models, yeah. and in in the museum I'm showing it like this, but I'm now talking about uh, the, the light the, about this one. Um, this this one is in Brussels. It's 12 meters high. It's on a trust, and it's a fail transfer fail, and so you see the church <coughs> behind it. People could walk through it, and it was in the new new branch, the, the white lights, and um, it was really. Uh, I think there's a lot of heritage in, uh, in Europe and uh, Christian heritage. You you see it, and, and we're not going to the church again uh, anymore, but it's still there. It, it's existing, and you have in the red lights district. You have the the hooker, of course, and then the saint. So I made this whole combination with these images of the, these women, and uh, and just showing it and just uh, with, uh, with the music, 
and uh, actually in, in Brussels a lot of young people came because they all have this memory, uh, all this, uh, everybody knows these images, but actually it's, it's more, we, we don't really uh, use it in our daily life. And it's also the Facebook, uh, the Facebook innovation. But, um, so it came all together well. And what, what you, you saw, I just, uh, with this portrait, um, <coughs> nobody is wearing uh, a video veil. It's all clips with, uh, with their skin, so from their body, what everybody's wearing. I'm not sure if I explain this one. <laughs> okay, you do the next one. <laughs> um, is the walk. <coughs> And um, the walk is a, is a 3D sphere, and uh, well, I've made videos before, but it was always on a flat screen, and I like to make video loops, and, uh, uh, so this is all on the flat screens. And I was busy with making uh, one about <coughs> uh, but you have the silence. Uh, um, People go on the street and they walk with the, with the lights and they want to have uh, a connection together. And they had a, a, some, sometimes somebody dies, or, but it's sometimes it's just to be together and be in silence. And um, so I was asked to make at the Festival of Glow um, something with, uh, with LEDs. So I thought, well, I, I want to make this walk. So it's an object in a square. These are uh, uh, just uh, how I made this. So this is uh, a lot of people helped. And uh, actually, it's called to walk because you have to walk around. Huh? You are participating in, in this because it's about our daily life. Our, and we have to do this, this round every day, every year. And um, because you can't see it at the back. Here you have some more images of it.
So this is the woman light. Uh, it's, a, it's a tunnel. And um, well, when I got there, I thought, well, a tunnel. It's it's not really an, uh, a subject where you think, well, I can do something. But it wasn't quite a <laughs> project. And um, uh, I will tell you, all right. Let's see, let's see the elephants. Well, the the. They needed a tunnel in, in Emmen, so it's in the east of the Netherlands. They needed a tunnel because they had to prove the zoo. So, uh, and then they had it in the center of this, this, uh, this street. So everybody had to go away from the visitors, the street lights and whatever. So they said, well, okay, we need a tunnel and we need a, a nice one. We need a better one. And because tunnels, uh, as you know, no, uh, more than 40% of the people are afraid of tunnels. And if you see pictures about tunnels, um, and you see that people uh, stop like rabbits in the tunnel, or they, uh, they go too fast or too slow, or a lot of things happening in tunnels. And it's um, actually, you uh, can call it unloved places. Right? So you want to go through, and that's it. And um, so they I several uh, live artists to come with a vision, and I came up with the, the dolmens. Um, you see it uh, down here, it's the it's panel. And this is the sandwich about uh, from the, uh, the ice time with all these dolmens. And it was once, it was really a, a big uh, a major culture with uh, the Funnel Beaker culture. <coughs> about 5,000 years ago and uh, I said well you should use this and I played also as a child uh, in this dolmens and then you have uh, if you are in the dolmen you have this light uh, twinkling around and of course you see through the stone so this was my first uh, drawings like uh, you could do something like this in the, in the tunnel and, uh, it's the same that it's in a big one because you can do it inside of it. And um, this is uh, how it's now today. Here it, it, uh, are two tunnels. And this is the entrance. And um, I will first show you some more pictures. <coughs> Um, so this got, got a few awards in this tunnel. Why? Because it's, uh, it's never done before, eh? actually in Rijkswaterstaat. So the, the road authorities of the Netherlands they didn't allow this. They said you're not allowed to, do, to put a dynamic light in a, in a tunnel. And I went to the University uh, of Groningen and there was a professor uh, traffic behavior. And um, well, and I said, well, I think you have this. Uh, you know, you come from a dynamic landscape uh, outside, and you see a lot, a lot of things. Bicycles, uh, people with, uh, with their phones, whatever. And then you go in this tunnel, and it's static. And actually, you should go through it uh, like this. And if, uh, you have, you must have this feeling that you go. Actually, it shouldn't stop the uh, the. The landscape. So I want to do something dynamic. And I want to do it like here, yeah, like uh, with a with a program. And um, now, well, he said, well, I I want to help you because I think you're right. And uh, but um, well, the people from Emily were not convinced yet. So I uh, made something with simulator, yeah, so you could drive through it. <laughs> but at the end, uh, they they didn't care. Uh, we got, they got the tunnel, but it was really a, a struggle to, to get there. And uh, well, <coughs> most people were saying, no, you're not allowed to do this. And, and, and in fact, you understand, because if somebody gets an accident in the tunnel, uh, who is to blame? <coughs> so nobody wants this, but actually what is happening with this tunnel, everybody wants to go into it. <laughs> everybody wants, and, and again, I've got a review. Somebody was writing like the doctor went to speak, uh, so he said that's more 
It's like uh, go on and uh, back and forwards, back and forwards, <laughs> and, uh, and people want to walk in it. So there was, and they they invite you now. It was a national uh, bicycle race was there, and the people also want to walk in it. But it's just for traffic. So, but it's a, it's a really <coughs> special, um, and and uh, so in, in Liverpool uh, and Manchester there was a there was a chair of one of the uh, the award. Uh, and uh, people like he said to me, well, in Manchester you have all these unloved places, these terrible tunnels, and people, you feel that you're hated eh, if you're going into a tunnel or if, if something is only for the cars. And, but here, uh, yeah, people are really, are really proud on it. Okay. Yeah. But this is um, uh, not ready yet, but it will be ready in, in spring. So, but it's also a, a Big project. It's uh, in, uh, in Amsterdam and it's on a market street, the Katermarkt. And um, so they want to have it, it's near the Halle, it's a market near the Halle. And they want to have something special in the street. And it will be an interactive uh, beach where people can. Uh, Stand below the grave, and they are inspired about uh, the, the Kate. He was a, a domine and he was a preacher, and he was uh, writing about paradise, so it's a uh, symbol of paradise, but also uh, this market uh, with all the fresh things. So, this is in the Halle. Um, all the old fresh uh, food, and it is also with the grape, and, uh, and uh, of course in the Holland, the, the food hall. And um, take pictures in, in the street and uh, to see how and the scale of it. And actually, this is this carbon and this uh, is steel, so it will be from steel. And this is the so the if you it's just. So they call it juicy lights, and uh, so it's just dripping. And if you are going under it, you're <coughs> activating it. And if somebody else is also activating the grape, then it comes together. Then you're you're going to mingle the color. Oh, that was the last one. <laughs> yeah.